All righty. So today we are going to walk through uh, how you're going to set up your computer. I'm going to break this apart into different videos so that way it's manageable chunks. There's a whole bunch of different parts to this. Um, to start off, what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and open up Chrome and go to this website here. You're going to go to github.com, G-I-T-H-U-B. See if I can zoom in on that. It might not let me, we'll find out. Yeah, I won't zoom in on this right here, but it will zoom in on everything here. Um, maybe I can go ahead and write that out more clearly for you, or what I'll probably do is just provide you a link. But you can go to github.com slash J-J-H-I-G-G-Z. That was my that was my producer name was Higgs, H-I-G-G-Z on the beat. Anyways, go to github.com slash JJ Higgs slash JRS computer setup. I'll post that link in the thread. Uh, anyways, you're gonna go here and just, I wanna talk a little bit about what this walkthrough is gonna be like and why I'm making a video for it because you might think, oh, if there's a document for it, you're already good to go. The truth is you're going to be doing a lot of things that you may not have done before for an install. Um, you're gonna have to run commands out of a terminal. You're gonna have to install a whole bunch of stuff. And you know what? This is a little bit complicated of a setup because even though right now you are probably running a Windows computer, most developers actually don't use Windows. Most of them use Linux or a Unix based system and most servers are hosted with Linux. So that there are plenty of people that do use Windows, but there's a lot more people that don't. So what we can do is we can run a Linux system inside of Windows. Now this sounds really scary, but once you get it set up, you're not even gonna notice that you did all this stuff to begin with. So even though this might be kind of a scary walkthrough, as time goes on, you're not even gonna really be dealing with this kind of problem solving for a while. The only reason why I personally am even good at this is because I had to help maybe 20 students set up this exact setup before. So I have a fairly decent understanding of it, but coming out of a boot camp, just learning how to code, I didn't actually know how to do this stuff. Someone, act, someone else actually helped me out with it. Um, so nothing to feel down about, it's just the first little hurdle of getting into the software development world. Alrighty, I'll see you in the next video.